Today I'll be working through example 2.1 from the statics lecture notes. So here we have a hook with two separate, I don't know, you can call them beams or ropes, pulleys, not really a pulley, but two different cables attached to it. And they have their own forces and their own angles from the X and Y axis. So we can quickly list those right here. We have F1 and we have an F2. And F1 equals 100 newtons and F2 is 150 newtons. Uh, on top of this, we have the angle. Um, which I guess I can express, the, I, don't, I don't really know the proper way to express it, so I'll just make it up. I'll say this is going to be at, and this is 90 degrees from the Y to the X axis, and this is 10 degrees off, so that's 80 degrees. And this one's going to be at 15 degrees. So now we know the forces and we know the angles. And here we have to apply the law of cosine. And what that is is r squared equals f1 squared plus f2 squared. And then it's going to be... Uh, I'm running out of space. <laughs> so now we're going to have to apply the law of cosines. Which is r squared plus, or r squared equals f1 squared plus f 2 squared minus 2 f1 f2 cosine um, and this is going to be probably the angle of the angle of the resultant r here if I had to take a guess so graphically, if we do the tip to tail method here on this, we would have our first line here, which 15 degrees, and then our next one here, which this is the 80 degrees, and then we would have the resultant vector here and now we have this unknown angle theta now how would we exactly get this angle well we can make this right here this is 90 degrees and this is 80 degrees which means that this is 10 so we know that's 10 And we also know that this is 90. So then this here too would be 10. No, this would be 15. because interior, interior, so my apologies. So now we have 90 plus 10 plus 15, which is going to be 115 degrees. So this is what theta equals. So now what we can do is we can say that R squared equals 100 squared plus 150 squared minus 2 
times 100 times 150 cosine of 115, which equals see I don't have uh, what this exactly equals but it's gonna have to be this square root equals square oh my gosh square root of r squared which is 212.55 newtons and whatever this number that you got from this is going to be r squared so when you square root it you get the answer here and that is how you do this problem.